Hello and welcome to Veda Day 24. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the essential oils that I use on a daily basis, how I use them, when I use them. Um, this is this is providing that there's no sickness going around our home. This is when everything is going well, um, not necessarily low stress, but just when nobody is sick. So of course I do need to put out that disclaimer that I am not a doctor nor am I qualified to diagnose, treat, or cure any condition uh, with these oils or by any other means. So let's jump right in. Okay, first things first. In the morning, I like to have my breakfast or right after my breakfast, I like to have a cup of sparkling water with one of my oils. I'm a huge fan of citrus oils and we, know, we all know the wonderful benefits of drinking lemon in your water, whether it's a lemon oil or just squeezing a lemon into your water. It's a great way to detox and it's also really refreshing. So I will either start with my lemon in about, Here's my jar. I just finished this. <laughs> um, I guess this is 12 ounces, but it's probably closer to like 16 because I fill it all the way to the top. I'll put about five drops of lemon. So it's not anything crazy like 20, 25 drops. It's five at the max. And something really important to know is that it does rise to the top because oil and water don't mix. And so every time uh, I take a, a drink, I have to take my straw and just swirl it around a little bit. Some people who put their lemon in a water bottle will shake it up before they, not a crazy shake, <laughs> but the, like a gentle shake before they take a drink. Uh, another thing to always remember, and I've said this in many other videos, is that when you're using the citrus oils, it's important to use all glass because uh, the citrus oils can cut through uh, any sort of plastic material and you'd be ingesting those and that's not any good. That's not detoxing at all. So I have my lemon. I also like to drink citrus fresh, and I know I've mentioned this before, uh, but this is a mix of a bunch of different citrus oils and spearmint. So I like that. Also, another really one, a really good one that I enjoy is tangerine in my water. Again, I love these citrus oils. They feel more food and less floral to me. That's why I do like to ingest them. I know there are a lot of people who say you shouldn't. There are a lot of people who say you should. And I would encourage you to do your research before ingesting any oils of any kind. Now I get on my citrus oils in the afternoon. I do like to put some orange on my ears. I know that sounds crazy. Not in my ears, but on my ears. First of all, it smells really good. Second of all, if you put it Hard to describe it's my disgusting ear but right here it can actually it's it's one of those those flex points on your ear like you have on your feet and your hands uh, that can correspond to happiness and I'm not saying that an oil is gonna make me happy I know there's some people out there who say oh have this this oil and it'll it'll increase your 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 gratefulness or whatever okay that comes from the inside that does not come from any sort of outer thing. So uh, I really like the way it smells and I, I do have to say that I do, maybe it's a placebo thing and if that's the truth then whatever, <laughs> I'm fine with that. But I do feel it is uplifting. It's probably just the, the scent of the orange because we all know those that citrus smell is really fresh and really nice to have around. Now you see back here, I have my little diffuser going. Today I am diffusing Joy, uh, which is something that I've come to like just, just recently. I didn't like it for a long time, just because I didn't like the smell that came out of it. As you can see, it's still a year later. <laughs> I still have my original premium starter kit uh, bottle of Joy. Some women use this as a perfume. It's kind of flowery, so I don't really like that. I like more of the, I guess, <sighs> I was gonna say plant scents, but like fruits and all that. I don't know. I just like that better. But I found that when I diffuse it in the diffuser, it's really nice. Not so much the smell coming from the bottle, but when it's, I guess, that diluted and in the air, it's so nice and it's become one of my favorites. So in the afternoon, I do like to diffuse something. Um, today, like I said, I have Joy going. Another favorite, and you know this from some of my other videos, is Pink Grapefruit. This is the Plant Therapy um, brand. And the Pink Grapefruit, I think it also just has that uplifting uh, scent that just makes you feel good. And um, again, grapefruit, I don't like to drink grapefruit juice. I don't like to eat a grapefruit. I think that is, it's just awful, I can't handle it. But the smell, oh, it's just so, so nice. 
And another favorite to diffuse is lavender. I think it's so funny. <laughs> a lot of these, I find I don't like the scent just just opening it, but when it's diffused, it's really nice. Maybe just because it's just kind of in the air and it's not right there literally in my face. Uh, but this is also a plant therapy uh, lavender and I really do like this. During the day, whenever we go somewhere, I of course always have my hand sanitizer available. And you've seen in maybe some of my other videos where I've made some hand sanitizer using thieves oil. And that is an antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, anti everything bad oil. And what I do is I actually mix it with some water and witch hazel in this glass bottle and I got these on Amazon. There's a lot of different glass bottles you can get on Amazon. Um, I wouldn't recommend or not recommend any certain brand. I found that they're all great and you can get them a lot cheaper on Amazon than you can at a health food store. But I like to have this because um, I could just spray it on the kids' hands and they could just rub their hands together. Of course, I have to shake it first. Not too much, but shake it just gently uh, to make sure everything um, is combined. I could spray it on the shopping cart handle. I can spray it on the, the, the table if we're about to eat, um, any of that stuff. So this again is just water, witch hazel, and, um, and thieves oil. Super easy to make and take with you. Okay, let's move on to nighttime. At night, I probably use the most oils at once. And I want to start with orange again. I don't do this every night, maybe once or twice a week, but I actually put one tiny drop of this with my toothpaste and it can actually whiten your teeth. I started out really slowly just because I want to kind of ease into it. I've heard from some people that it really does help to whiten their teeth and my teeth, it, it seems like no matter how much I brush them or what I use, they just, they just stay kind of dingy. <laughs> I don't know but I've never wanted to go with like the chemical whitening, the white strips, none of that. I'm just not comfortable with that. And, but I am comfortable with using a drop of orange on my toothbrush. And uh, so I'll let you know down the road if it really seems to help. I do use the Thieves toothpaste. I should have brought that down here, but I love the Thieves Dentarome Ultra toothpaste. It's actually out of stock right now, or it was last time I checked. Awesome, awesome toothpaste if you're looking for a natural version of your of your whitening or of your just regular good clean toothpaste. I can tell you that my teeth always feel so much smoother since I started using it. And there's no artificial dyes, flavors, anything like that, which is nice. Now at night, right before I go to bed, I do put on this Thieves Roll-On. And this is just one of these little roller bottles that I got on Amazon. You can get a, like a 12 pack for like eight bucks or six bucks or something like that. Crazy cheap. Um, but I have in here for me, this is for me, not for the kids. For the kids, I dilute it more. For me, I put about six or seven drops of Thieves in this and the rest is carrier oil. Um, I usually use apricot oil as my carrier oil just to dilute it a little bit. Sometimes I will put the Thieves straight on. If I know I've been exposed to something, um, if I know that I am sick, I'll go ahead and put the Thieves on straight. I've never had a reaction or anything like that before. Um, but this is just for the every night. For the kids, I dilute it a lot more, like two to three drops in this whole bottle of Thieves and then the rest is carrier oil. So this I just put all over the bottom of my feet. Now I've talked a lot about uh, my headaches on my channel, at least I think I have. And I've struggled with migraine headaches and just general uh, just headaches that just don't budge. Now if it's a headache that really is hardcore <laughs> that I cannot shake, I will take medicine. I am not afraid of taking medicine. But of course, I, I want to try some other things uh, before I do that, if I know that I can. And uh, the first thing that I love is Deep Relief. And I've talked about this one quite a bit. You saw it in my favorites. And um, it's, it's a mixture, so I can read it. Peppermint, lemon, balsam fir, copaiba, coconut oil, uh, clove oil, wintergreen, helichrysum, vetiver, and Palo Santo oil. I don't even know what that one is. Um, but this is like an icy hot. It's, it, even if I just take it and swipe, like swipe the back of my ear like this, it automatically, yeah, it automatically feels like cold, almost like I have a little ice cube there. Maybe not that extreme, but it still feels really cold. And I like to rub Deep Relief on there, on my, on my neck every single night. 
um, because I feel like it, it, it kind of helps me to um, tense, it tends up a little bit less because I'm a pretty tense person a lot and I feel like it helps me to relax a little bit. It almost feels like I have an ice pack back there. If I do have a headache, sometimes the deep relief and an ice pack is like heaven. It feels so good. Another thing that I found does really work very well for my headaches is to get some Valor and Valor is a Young Living Oil and I actually have uh, the roller ball, uh, roller ball on top and Something else I've learned through Young Living is that it's not all about one oil. Sometimes it's about combining two together. And so what I'll do is take uh, some Valor and rub it on the back of my neck or like right behind my ears, kind of in this area, my temples, across my forehead. But what really helps to sink it in is some peppermint. And peppermint alone can help with headaches. Um, but I feel like this, oh, it's so fresh. I feel like this with the Valor, uh, just makes a really awesome combo. This is what I was using when I was out of deep relief for a couple of weeks. So that's pretty much it. I have a lot of other oils that I use for, you know, not sleeping or colds or eczema or all these different things. But these are the ones that I just use on an everyday basis. I know some people use a lot more and a lot more variety and that's great, but this seems to work really well for us. I hope this was helpful for you today. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe. And he says to subscribe <laughs> and leave a comment below if you have any tips for just other and ways to use my up. oils during thumbs the day. Thumbs up. And he says, give me a thumbs up. So let's do it. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Bye.